Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we're taking a look at this brand new 2025 Ford Explorer. The Explorer has been fully redesigned here for the 2025 model, and this one is the ST trim, which is the fastest, the quickest version of any Explorer ever built. Powered by the three liter EcoBoost engine, making over 400 horsepower and we're gonna have that 10 speed automatic transmission. Now, we're gonna take a full walkthrough of this particular Explorer here, starting with the front end. Now, being the ST model, again, this is the sporty performance version. We're gonna get a nice, aggressively styled bumper here with fog lights there. You get your LED lighting as well. Nice blacked out grill, of course, you get your ST logo as well. Really, really nice looking Explorer. Again, this has been fully redesigned for the 2025 model. Exclusive 21 inch wheels with the red performance brakes, which look great. Black mirrors, we also have the body match door handle there. Has that iconic Explorer styling. And we'll come around to the back end here. We have new LED taillights, which kind of protrude into the center of the tailgate there, which I think looks really neat, especially at nighttime. Gives it a nice aggressive look there. Got that quad tipped exhaust, as well as the rear parking sensors. We have a full size class three receiver hitch here, and that's gonna offer uh, up to uh, 5,000 pounds of towing capacity, which is an extremely impressive number. And that is actually standard across every single Explorer, regardless of the trim level. All new 2025 Explorers, 5,000 pound towing capacity. Now let's go ahead and take a look into the new Explorer. Now being the ST model, we're gonna have red contrast stitching here along the seats. It's also suede and leather. They're fully power operated, of course, heated and cooled. Plus these ones do offer uh, the massage feature. These have the multi-contour seats to get the massage, which is a really cool feature, especially for longer distance driving. And this S2 logo is really neat. It's kind of hidden until you kind of look directly onto it. Uh, it's got a hidden look there. And we also have the rubber floor mats down here, so that's gonna be uh, keeping that floor nice and clean and protected. New door panel design, you got your storage below with the new BNO sound system. Let's go ahead and hop inside. Keyless fob, just like last year, I'm gonna have your ST logo on the back. Push button start. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll fire up that three liter EcoBoost engine which uh, was used in the previous Explorer. Uh, it's been updated and upgraded. And again, that is mated to the 10 speed automatic transmission. You got your paddle shifters right there in the back for that 10 speed and uh, four wheel drive or all wheel drive is standard here for the Canadian market Explorer STs. Now, again, new interior, you're gonna have your main screen here, which is, I guess, one of the biggest changes for the 2025 Explorer. It's gonna be this infotainment screen and the new connectivity options uh, that are available here. This is a fully Google capable screen, it's full Google connectivity, which opens the door for tons of different uh, options. It's actually a really cool system here. I kind of dive into it a little bit in this video, uh, but just gonna have a really, really, really high quality interior. It's a little more minimalist compared to last year. There's less buttons. Uh, it's a little, little less, a little more minimalist, which I think is, is really nice. It's a nice change from, from last year. You got your B&O sound system, speakers kind of more integrated into the dashboard there, kind of help it flow a little better. You got a fully digital gauge cluster, uh, which is gonna offer a lot of great information there. And the Explorers now offer Blue Cruise. So this does have Ford's hands-free uh, highway driving Blue Cruise system. And this particular one does have the one year plan included from the factory. So if you were to purchase this Explorer, it does have the one year Blue Cruise uh, already ready to go. And there's actually gonna be the sensors right here in front of you. Uh, this will actually detect your eyes as you're driving to make sure you're still paying attention because it is not a fully autonomous system, uh, but it is capable of hands-free highway driving. Now I do want to quickly dive into this uh, center screen because I really think this is a new focal point here, uh, a really great upgrade from the previous generation Explorer. So this is the new 13.2 inch display and is running Sync 4, which is Ford's infotainment uh, software. And this is a full Google capable system. So it's gonna have full Google auto integrations, which really does open up the doors for a lot of different options. Um, so firstly, this is your home screen. You're gonna have the climate control now pretty much fully integrated there in the bottom section of the screen. It's a very simple system. You got your dual zone function. So you can go ahead and adjust the temperature. You have your heated and cool seat options, heated steering wheel, and then you have your fan speed. It's just one click of a button. You don't have to worry about opening another menu to access it. So it's very simple. 
uh, but there are a couple of more options if you click that button there. Now, the home screen has your navigation right here. It also has your audio and then your phone and the driver profile, which is new for this year. It's going to offer a lot more customizations. If you have more than one driver for this vehicle, you can actually set it to a number here, which will remember the seat settings. It'll remember your, your mirror settings, your uh, infotainment settings, your audio settings. All the personalization options will be linked to a profile here, which is really neat. And you can even link it to a key fob as well. Now, right here, we're going to have some different uh, settings. So vehicle settings, very standard. Uh, you have your vehicle settings here, driver assistance features, and then you also have ambient lighting. You have your massaging seat controls, hill descent control, lots of cool options, a little interactive display there. And then the last one here is going to be your menu. So you have, again, full Google integration here. So we have Google Assistant, Google Play Store, Google Maps. You have Google News. We have YouTube. Uh, so you can go ahead and, and open up YouTube and watch videos, of course, while you're parked. Um, but you have this, which is really cool. Uh, so it really does open up a lot of uh, a lot of options, a lot of doors here uh, for for this new infotainment screen here on the 2025 Explorer. Now moving further down, wireless charger, uh, really nice spot for this. It's very easy to access. Uh, your phone's not going to move around a lot, which is definitely definitely nice. Uh, 360 camera does come standard here as well, so you have uh, much uh, more convenient and easy parking. And then you get some additional storage here, different outlets and power connectors, a drive mode select. So you can actually go ahead and, and cycle through a whole bunch of different drive modes there. Nice large console with additional outlets, lockable glove box, and we also have a full-size panoramic sunroof. Now looking into the second row seat, so this does have a couple options for the second row. You can have either a bench or a captain's chair. So the captain's chair is going to be the standard option here. Uh, if you need that extra seat, you can get the bench. So this is a six seat configuration, but you got the captain's chairs. These are heated. You got the ST logo there. Uh, very comfortable and we have armrests. They're on recline options. So it's a very comfortable space for your second row. And there's going to be additional power outlets back here. Uh, USB full-size power plug, cup holders, you know, all the extra goodies, uh, rubber floor mats, lots of access into the third row. You can either access this uh, like that, and then it does tilt and slide forward at the same time. So there's going to be your third row seat. Uh, you got lots of amenities here for your third row, USB connectors, cup holders, etc. And then again, leather for all seats. Now we'll come around to the trunk area, our last stop here. Now this power tailgate does come standard on all models. So currently the third row is in its up position. Uh, you got some storage here underneath, which also is currently storing the carpet floor mats. So if you want to use the carpet floor mats, those are also going to be available here. 12 volt connector on the side, and you can also lower these seats from back here. So you don't have to worry about doing it manually. It's all motorized and power, so you can just push it down. It'll bring them up, put them down all at the same time. You can do the left one, of course, uh, individually or at the same time. And that'll really open up the space. Of course, if you don't need the third row, it does give you a ton and ton of, of trunk space back here. You can fold those second row seats down. So if you really want to give you a ton of space, uh, if you want to load you know, plywood back here, whatever the case is, uh, there's just tons of space back here. So that is the 2025 Ford Explore ST. If you're interested in this vehicle, it is available for test drives here at McPhee Ford. You can either give us a call or you can visit our website, mcpheeford.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.